Nicholas back in the house. Yes, back in the house tonight. Yeah. Today we have Simplicity Linux Netbook Edition 12.1. This is the third of four that came out earlier this month. So it's super duper Mini Cooper, as we're saying. Now this is not installed on a netbook, by the way, because I could be boggled really to be honest with you. So I've installed it on my main desktop and it still works rather well. But as you can see, the main things in the centre of the screen are meant for netbooks. That's where your main icons are gonna be, okay? Why is left these ones over here? I don't know. Maybe they look better on a netbook. So, as I haven't got any working netbooks at the moment, I can't ever look. Is it a bit of a poo, really? So anyway, <clears throat> what do you get for your 100 odd megabytes of download for your netbook? Okay, we well, get quite a lot, actually. But it has stripped quite a bit out, okay? So we go down to our menu. And it's usual here. It reminds me of the old Simplicity Linux from a while ago, maybe six months ago. That's what it reminds me of, old Staley, not like the last two I showed you about a week ago, okay? So you get your desktop settings, usual country settings, desktop appellettes are all here. Your system status and all stuff like that is all here, all here, and all here. You get G parted, Grub for DOS, Grub Legacy Bootloader as well, like that bit. System schedule, boot magic config if you want to, login magic config if you want to do that, etc. etc. And under puppy setup, you get the usual stuff like check dependencies. It's all nice and new because it's based on a weary 522. But no office pub. That's an NOP to you and me, okay? And you set up utilities, installing it to a USB. Some people have been asking me how do you install it to USB, so I'll do that again. Again, how many times I've done it, I've lost count. You get the Puppy University installer as well. Remaster your live CD. You should all give that a good go because it's quite fun to do and you can actually create your own pup, what you want it, when you want it, if you know what I mean. Yes, you can. File systems, usual is all here. File manager is Thuna, as it's XFCE based, by the way. Your drive mounter, fist, a part of your free space in your drives, and find your stuff, okay? Utilities, all here. Check your flash player preferences, bulk rename, it's all there. Archiving utilities, usual puppy stuff. But you also get the Snap2 snapshot backup now and the GUI. Oh, yes. I will go into that a bit further this week, I think. Yeah, we'll do that this week. And the graphics. You just get mashup, okay, and an image viewer, and uh, this part of graphics editors, you only get MT Paint and graphic utilities, you just get pap, camera, digital camera access, and G color to color choose. That's all you get. Basically, what you've done is stripped out a lot for web only access, okay? So, document stuff, you just get leaf pad, okay, and utilities, a PDF viewer. Under business, you get one calculator, personal. You just get bcrypt because that's all you're going to need on your system as far as this version is aware. So if you've got an EPC 900 with the old Celeron processor, this could be the baby for that one. Oh yes, indeed. Network applications, you get your firewall, set it all up. Of course, it's an installed system. You get your sample shares, super scan your wireless network. And under the internet, you get Opera standard. He's not removed that from the last one. So that might be one to get rid of, Dave, might it? If you know what I mean, before I come down to limo. Under multimedia, you do get some stuff because you want to keep some music and stuff on your system. So these have stayed. So the Sunder is there. Double F Convert. I'll keep it on any system that I'm personally. Oggle, because you might want to play your DVDs. But if you've got a netbook, you won't actually have a DVD drive, will you? So that may be one to come out. Okay. Unless you just put in the files in via a USB stick. I'm not sure how many EPCs had now. Was it three or four? I can't remember now. CD and DVD burning, well you haven't got a drive, so they're actually wasted there, so they could come out too, really, couldn't they? Okay. Let's start with the other stuff. Under internet, double click member, XFCE based. You get a direct link to Facebook, Forest, whatever that is. And shall I open it just to find out? I fancy a laugh, okay. So we double click Forest, see if it actually works. Let's have a look. All right, so for GitHub, didn't know that, blimey. Didn't even know that at all. Gmail, Amiibo, MeBit, such so an IC client, Twitter, and Wikipedia. They're there in the internet section. Right, under Office, if I open it up, we get 30 boxes. You want to see what that is? 30 boxes? 30 boxes, 30 boxes. 30 boxes lets you connect with people who matter the most. So basically, it just helps you keep it organized, basically, if you're unorganized like me. Might be an idea for me, really. Gmail again, which well, would be an Office. Excuse me, the Google Docs and Notepad, Zoho Planner, Zoho Sheet, Zoho Show, and Zoho Writer. Zoho is a full office suite. I've had an account of them for about three or four years. 
I don't use it all the time, but it's handy if you're away and you just want to do something because you actually get an email address with it as well. It's not just an offline thing or an online. We can use it offline as well now, by the way, in larger distros, as far as I'm aware. I'll quickly open Zoho up for you so you can have a quick look. Okay, all comes up in your browser. Now I'm not going to log in, but basically, as you can see, it's the same as all the others. But you can do lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff, and it's free. Okay, oh, we've got a new one in here. Zoho Office for Microsoft SharePoint. Very interesting. Okay, we'll get rid of that. So that's enough as under Office. Right, under Media. So under Media, get Blinkbox for watching stuff. Oh yes, I'll open that for you. I won't play anything, obviously, because I'll be breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. So you can actually rent movies here, or there is free stuff as well. And a bit earlier, while I was testing it, I watched this Fortress thing. It was all right. All right. It was all right. Didn't watch it all the way through. We got Highlander. If you like Highlander, the old, well, it's not the old series; it's from a few years ago. But it's alright, yeah. And some other stuff down there. No, some more renty stuff and some cheaper renty stuff if you want to watch it. So you don't actually need another client really if you don't really want to. There's all the new stuff is on there if you don't mind paying for it. All right. Okay. Right. Next, Groove Shark. I showed you the other week. Very nice. You just want to get a client now. I'm going to put some stuff in just to show you how it works when it eventually loads. I'll just have a bit of seepage here. Mm. Mm -mm. And we'll put in something. Where's everybody? Right. God rest her soul. Probably our best track in my personal opinion. If you want to play the track, you just click on play and it comes up down there and starts playing. I'm going to get rid of it before it does. See you later. BBC iPlayer. Right, it's not the download iPlayer. It just takes you to the iPlayer page. But it's all in one place. Okay, look. So it takes you there. If I click on the inside, man. There's a good one tonight, by the way. The next one's going to be really good. Ooh, yeah. I was doing some stuff and watching it at the same time, if you know what I mean. Right. Flash works out of the box, by the way. You've got to do nothing else. That's all nicey nicey. Ready to do stuff. Jamando, you know what it is. Kindle. To read your Kindle stuff. Magnitude and Utify. Right, this is right, it's like Spotify or YouTube Fi -E thing. Right, not everything works here, okay? So sometimes if you choose something or you put into search, it won't actually find anything you like. Because obviously YouTube and other players actually find um and when you look at them basically or listen to them, should I say. Okay. We'll get rid of that. And that's all on that one. Well, it's quite a long one, isn't it? There's quite a lot on this bit. Because they're all cloud apps or internet apps, whatever you call them. So we go to games. Now he's got these already here, but these are all links by the way. These are not installed, so you can do Angry Birds from your browser, 99 Bricks, the Contraption game. I like that one actually, my kids do as well. My Jong and Solitaire, you can have more if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Then you've got your home folder, networking, setup, trash, and the terminal. So installation took about, hmm, bear in mind I've got a dual core machine on this one. It took about, ooh, just over a minute, I suppose. It weren't very long, really. Just over a minute. I had to think about that one, didn't I? Yes. Very, very thinky. Oh, yes, all installed. I've set up my firewall. You get all that here. So if you right click your desktop, you can still go to your applications, XFC, Staley. All down there. That's all here. It's just that some more applications needed to come out, I think, in my personal opinion. They needed to stay. But on the whole, you've got a netbook, especially one of the older ones. This will be the baby for you, I think. Sneaky. Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.